A week ago we put a video on showing you how to cordon a fruit tree and a number of you have been asking us how we went about building these because typically in an allotment you're not allowed to use concrete uh, to be able to set posts and things like that. So in this episode I'm going to show you exactly how I did these on this allotment. So we set these posts in January of 2016 and we took some footage back then but we didn't have the technology that we've got now, the camera equipment and, and microphones and what have you and uh, when we were doing it it was quite windy so the, the sound quality wasn't the best and I decided not to put that footage on but because a number of you have asked how we've done this um, I'm going to voice over that footage for you and uh, what's coming up now is the video from that uh, when we actually put these posts in in 2016 and uh, shows you the exact process from start to the point where we've got all of these wires on. So as when, when you're doing any post you need a hole and uh, we we basically we're digging a hole around about eight inches square here and we need to get it down quite a depth and um, we're looking for around about two and a half to three feet here now this was quite hard going the uh, after about two feet we hit some really hard sort of compacted stone and clay but uh, a good spade will get you through that As you can see, my arm, I'm right the way up to my armpit and uh, and we're still digging here. The reason we want to get it down so deep is because this is where the strength is going to come from. Remember, we're unable to use concrete here, so um, we really need to get it down quite a way. So here I've got some 9 feet 4 by 4 timbers and they're uh, going down into the hole. Now as you can see here we have some decking boards, I think they're 5.5 by, uh, by 1 inch timbers and um, they run down the whole length of the plot. Now um, this will be fastened to that just to help hold it. As you can see we're trying to plumb up this 4x4 four four. and uh, by screwing into the uh, through the decking board into this 4x4 four four, so it's going to help us keep it in place but it'll also give us some sideways um, uh, protection from it moving and tilting back and forth. Please excuse the uh, video shaking here. Um, I didn't realise the camera was actually sat on a post that's to our left there. So just check in plumb again now. And then we'll set the rest of the screws home. It's worth taking the time just to put these few screws in because it will make life a lot easier for you in the next stages. If you don't have these boards, put a temporary one there um, and it will just hold it for you. But I use the, these boards as the edging to this particular allotment plot, so we may as well utilise them.
Last check, no for plum, and it's all good. So these, you know, we're going to start packing this with some small stones. These are what's been taken out of the plot as we've been digging, and we just stick them in some bags and put them out of the way until we have projects like this to do. And they're also great for putting the bottom of the, uh, beds, like her beds, that need good drainage. So now we just compact these down so that they all lock together and this is where the strength is going to come from. It's really important that you really ram them in, into, the, into the ground. They'll all lock together and it will actually set that post as if it's in concrete. So we just keep building up the layers and hammering it back in. It's a bit of a workout, you can hear me breathing, but um, it is worth it. Now, we're setting six posts like this because we're having three rows of trees. the last layer going in by here now and another good ramming At this point the post is very very secure and you can really give it a good shake it will not move because them stones have all locked into each other and we're just putting this earth now over the top as a you know just to sort of cover it we will compact this earth into the top to stop that top layer moving um, but what it, it all it does is hides the work that you've done underneath so we'll give it another hammer down now here and this will just compact that earth on top of them stones just to lock that top layer in together. And we repeat this for all six posts. And that's it, that's your post in. So here now you can see me stringing uh, a piece of string between two of the posts. And, it, and we're doing this right at the very top. What we're trying to do here is create a datum line. This is going to be a line that we put on and we get level. And we then mark all our holes from this so that everything's level. Because the floor is uneven, we need a level surface to work from. And that's what we're doing here. Just put that level on there now. Check it's right. And I'm happy there. Now from that line, we can mark out for all the holes that we need to drill. And we're having five lines down this particular one. So we need to mark for each of those. Now we can remove our line and start drilling out all the holes that we need to. If you don't drill this and you try screwing the eyes in, you'll actually split the timber guys and it's very hard work. The size drill bit that we're using is just fractionally uh, smaller in diameter than the screw bolt for the eye itself. And now you can see me screwing the eyes in. Because we use the datum line, all of these eyes will be perfectly level.
so the wires won't look odd when you're seeing them from somewhere else and all it's a case now is to put some wire on them initially our first piece of wire is going to be um, it's going to be secured just by twisting and locking upon itself now this wire is uh, typically what is used to tension chain link fencing it's the green sort of plastic coated wire it's very strong and you can put a lot of tension into it but just basically wrap it around itself and around the eye and you're good to go So now I've just put a turnbuckle on the end and we're now tightening that up just to get it tensioned. We'll just repeat this for each level of the wire. Placing another turnbuckle on and hooking it up. And just keep tensioning these. So we just repeat this now for the, the other three after this. So we've got five lines going across. One thing I would like to say, these turnbuckles you can be bought on uh, eBay. Okay, they uh, literally will just allow you to tighten up any sort of wire. So one end you fix it and the other end then you can just tighten it up what i will say about it what we noticed over the winter period is where the wind was blowing through those wires they did have a tendency to slacken off so what i would suggest you do is get some sort of locking compound that you can put on a thread um, which will lock those threads in place you can overcome that with a bit of friction but um, it's not going to allow that wind to blow through and and, and then loosen them off what we have used is um, some liquid cement uh, which we can peel off if we need to but that's essentially how we've done these so stay tuned we've still got some of the other episodes this is just a bit of a, a bonus episode because quite a number of you have asked how we put these in the ground on an allotment anyway guys i will see you in the next one bye bye